Hi, this is Mr. Smith, and in this uh, video, I'll be showing you how to use the Lockdown Browser to take test one. So first of all, um, looks like I just got a message from one of you guys. Uh, what you might be asking yourself is, what the heck is a Lockdown Browser? Well, it actually limits your computer to the testing screen. In other words, you won't be able to use any of your other programs, you won't be able to copy or print, and you won't be able to get on the internet. So it strictly limits you to the test. All right, and just so you know, um, if, you if you were wanting to take the test on a mobile phone or like a Chromebook, those will not work. You'll need either a laptop or a desktop. So you'll wanna let me know if you run into any problems. I do have an al another alternative for anybody in that group. So let's go ahead and talk about how to download this. So first of all, I am in the um, student view. And now in the past, you used to be able to find browser check on the first page, but I don't see it here under your view. So I'm not positive that you'll have it, but it may be on your first page. Or like me, you may have to click here, and now you can see browser check. The main thing is you need to click on browser check. Hopefully you've already done that, um, but you should see Pearson Lockdown Browser in there, and yours should say, I think it's, it'll say install now right here. Now I'm going to go ahead and click on this so you can see something. Now if there's any chance that you already have it, you can view a test page, but otherwise you're going to want to click here. And so what's going to happen is it'll download in your lower left hand corner. It took my computer about three minutes, so it's pretty takes a little bit of time. And then you'll click on it and install it, and you know just go through the steps, and then you'll be ready to take your test. So I'm going to go ahead and click out of here. So once you've installed it, you can go to the um, assignments menu. I can actually see it in here. And right before test one, you'll see this lockdown browser quiz before taking test one. And go ahead and click on that and you'll take that um, as if it were the real test. Just to give you practice and make sure you're comfortable with the program and that it's working correctly on your computer. By the way, when I send the eCampus directions for taking test one, I'll tell you uh, there actually is a password you need to know when you go into this, just like there will be on the actual test. All right, so once you've taken that and everything's working fine with the lockdown browser, then you're ready to take your test. Now, the other thing I should mention, before you ever use the lockdown browser, you always wanna make sure you close out of any programs on your computer. Otherwise, when you go to take your test, the lockdown browser is going to ask you for permission to close certain programs. In order to take the test, you'll have to close those programs. All right, that's about it. If you have any questions, just contact me or any problems and, uh, and I'll help you out.